a few problems about the Microsoft Surface Go and how to solve them. And we will also be showing some upsides to it. So let's get into it. So the first problem is no USB ports. So what you'll end up buying is one of these. This is a USB-C to USB. So then you would just plug that into the side. And now you can have your USB port. That costs $7 with this total $18 for this. The whole set setup cost around $700. That's if you get the pen too. And then here's also a big problem. So let's say you go to the Microsoft store and they'll say, oh, here's for the Surface Go. Well, they may not know which one it's for. And they may uh, think that this one has the uh, has a USB port. So then you're like, okay, uh, where do I plug this in? So then you would have to plug it in here. Simple fix. And then you'd be able to use your USB. So that's that's good. I'll turn it on. Now you could start using it. This is not sold at the store. You would have to buy this either on Amazon or eBay, whatever you prefer. And okay, now here's for the big problem. So when you have a, a Office 365 membership, you expect, oh, I'm having Skype talk time. Oh, that must also include SMS so I could text my friends and do FaceTime. No, it does not include that. You can only get regular uh, uh, Skype where you can, uh, well, not regular Skype, you can only make calls off of it. And even then, there's been this big problem on computers. And what well, the problem is, is when you call someone on Skype, they can't hear you. So... I figured out this uh, problem and I will show you how to solve it. Yeah, so here's how you solve it. So what you would want to do is you want to go to Cortana and you're going to type start. And then you're going to go to settings, start system settings. And this is what's going to fix the voice problem where it can't hear you. Then you're going to go down to... You're going to go to microphone privacy settings. Now, when you're here, it's going to show you all the apps. And you'll see Skype, which will be turned off. That's why it cannot hear you. So you're going to turn that on, along with other apps that you're having problems with this. And then now you can finally uh, hear you on a Skype. Overall, I think this is a great computer. It just has a few flaws. I, I do wish Microsoft goes back to adding the USB port in it. And um, and be uh, and to be more clear on Skype on how how it uses it because it's totally an, uh, like if you're going to be using Office 365 for the Office part, sure get it. But if you're getting it like oh I see Office 365 oh I want to have oh it has Skype with it too. I have 60 minutes of Skype with it. Okay. I will use those 60 minutes, I'll text my friend. So then you end up texting your friend and it says you, uh, you uh, do not have a payment for that and you're like, oh, I just got Office 365. Sure, it's an uh, easy to fix uh, problem, I'll just call Microsoft Support. Then you call Microsoft Support and they uh, end up telling you that, it's, uh, that you can only make calls off of it. So that, that's just like one problem with that, but that's, that's okay. Otherwise, on the positive side, you have great, you can, it's perfect for watching movies. Small, uh, a small screen, small 10 inch screen, uh, but uh, overall, you don't really notice how small it is. You're more, fo more focused in your movies, and it has better speakers than my old computer, which is nice. One problem is the bezels on the uh, device. The bezels are so thick. I hope Microsoft fixes the uh, bezel problem in the future and uh, makes their new Surface Go a lot better. But overall, I would say this is an amazing computer, except for the few flaws. But thank you for watching, and please subscribe so then I can get more computers to unbox the videos. 
for unboxing videos and thank you for watching. Goodbye.